Hey, I'm Sean O'Rourke with 11 Bravo Productions, and I'm here at EUE Screen Gem Studios, the largest studio complex on the East Coast. And I'm here with Molly Oleski, and she's going to talk to us today about how to make cuts, bruises, and blood. How to make uh, cuts, bruises, and blood for film. There's a couple different ways you could go about doing it. Uh, one way is with wax. You can use mortician's wax or uh, makeup wax that they sell. Ben Nye has a great product of... Uh, makeup wax you can it's very pliable it does melt under hot light so it is if for settings where it's not so much of a bright light uh, with wax you can do uh, easy cuts on, on arm you can do buildups of uh, swollen heads I've seen uh, you know the skull being moved with hammer you know hammer marks you can just build it up and what you do with wax is you use actually uh, lubricant like KY jelly to actually sculpt with it on the actor's face. And you attach it with cotton and uh, spirit gum. And then uh, you, uh, you seal it with latex. And then you powder it and then you can paint it any way you want. Uh, the other way to do it is sculpting your own appliances and then casting them in gelatin or foam latex. And that way, that is the true professional's way of doing it. Um, that way it looks flawless, it's exactly the way you want it. Uh, all you have to do is sculpt it on either, if you can do it on a flat surface on a piece of plastic, or you can sculpt it on someone's life cast. And there, from there you can just cast over that in uh, ultra cal stone, and then you can uh, do it, a gelatin pool of it or a foam latex pool that you can attach with uh, Prosaid or Spirit Gum. I recommend Prosaid. It's pro adhesive. Uh, you can buy it in any makeup store. You can uh, online, like Friends Beauty Supply, or you, it, you can also find medical grade uh, adhesive. That's the best. It's uh, it sticks to itself. You have to coat the actual appliance and the actor's skin. And after you attach it, you can paint it any way you want. Uh, different types of makeup that you can use to paint it. You, you, know, you have the standard grease makeup palettes that Ben Nye, Krylon, Mehron all make, but also the most professional, like state-of-the-art, greatest product ever made is alcohol-activated palettes that you can get um, from Skin Illustrators or Matthew Mungle. You just Google it, you can find it, it's very easy. That's out, uh, it's activated by 99% alcohol, and it stays on for eight hours, no touch-ups. You don't have to make any touch-ups. It's great, and it mixes easy. It's the best thing to paint appliances or any sort of makeup with. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, there you have it, guys. That's just some ways to make cuts, bruises, and blood. And remember, always find a place on your actor and test these, these chemicals out first because you never know if someone's going to have an allergic reaction. We want to make sure that the actors always stay safe and they're comfortable. Well, we just showed you how to make cuts, blood, and bruises. And there you have it.